everyone i am arushi a third year dermatology resident and today's video is going to be about skin care routine for people with an acne prone skin so if you have an acne prone skin the first thing that you're going to do when you wake up in the morning is to wash your face you can use face washes with active ingredients in them um face washes with salicylic acid benzoyl peroxide glycolic acid mandelic acid basically the exfoliants and uh, keratolytic agents are good for your uh, skin a few options are on your screen right now now once you're done washing your face you might want to apply a moisturizer uh, you can't really go for the regular moisturizers but the one suitable for acne prone skin are given on your screen after applying moisturizer you might want to go for a sunscreen um again people with acne prone skin cannot go for any sunscreen any moisturizer various uh, sunscreen options are on your screen right now you might want to go with face creams or you know uh, moisturizers or sunscreens which are gel based and not the ones which are cream based so after you're done uh, applying the moisturizer which you can also skip and the sunscreen also in between like before you layer your face with a moisturizer or after you've layered it with moisturizer but before a sunscreen you might want to use an antioxidant for people with an acne prone skin uh, vitamin c is a strict no so you cannot really use vitamin c but niacinamide is your friend so if you want to use an antioxidant in your skincare regime niacinamide is the one to go for now face wash done a uh, moisturizer done niacinamide serum done and a sunscreen done uh, during the day time you'll have to layer up your sunscreen again and again and you might want to take supplements and all so other than the hair supplements which you can take you can also take vitamin c and zinc supplements which is said to be good for people with acne prone skin recently like i got to know that you can also use kiwi extract um based um you know supplements you might want to modulate your diet also a bit so products which are very sugary or you know with high glycemic index or milk based products smoking stress um these are the things very heavy makeup is something that you would not want to use also if you're using makeup or any uh, uh, cosmetic product you might want to look for two labels one is oc that is oil control another one is non comedogenic there are a few active ingredients also which you have to avoid in um, various cosmetic products that you use but we'll talk about that later in some other video now during night time again you have to go for your favorite face wash now uh, even azelaic acid based face washes not just glycolic salicylic and you know mandelic or benzoyl peroxide you can also use them and um now towards the night time you will obviously do your hair care routine and you would want to use serums which have retinoids in them so after washing your face you just pat it dry and you have to use retinoids retinoids are really good for people who have acne prone skin now once you've applied retinoid you can apply apply a light uh, face cream or a moisturizer which is, so one of those face creams and all you can use other than that you know serum for your hair or um any supplements for your hair if you want to take those you are also free to take now about oiling people who have acne prone skin might not want to oil their scalp a lot and they might also have dandruff along with a predisposition for acne so if you have dandruff you might not want to oil your hair a lot in that case um oil has benefits for your hair strands so you might uh like to oil it 30 minutes before you actually you know take a head bath or something otherwise you'll get acne all over this area in the t zone if you oil your hair a lot so that is one thing that you can skip again i hope the video helps and um i'll see you again in some other video bye bye okay also if you want to go for the procedures you can go for peels um people are treating acne with lasers also these days if you have scars there are a ton of procedures that you can do and if you have pigmentation then also peels and lasers can help you a bit so yeah stay tuned for more thank you for watching